everyone, my name's Camille. This is my channel by Camille where I talk all about reselling on Poshmark and other online platforms. And today I am showing you a haul from Goodwill. So today is Friday, the 16th of July. I just wanted to film this right when I got, well, I didn't just get back, but I wanted to film it same day so I could just kind of remember some things. Uh, today was 50% off red tags. And I took the day off just so I could have my own little trip. I thought I was going to be going to the Goodwill Bins. That's what the location is online. Um, the location is about an hour away from me, so I called. I made sure they're going to be open today, just in case for any reason. Um, just checking. And it turns out the location is also a store. And the store is open, but the get Goodwill bins are closed for the year. So I didn't realize there was also a store there. But anyways, I was prepared to go to the bins. I was very excited. <laughs> I left my house at 8 in the morning to get there for opening. And it was just the store. But the store was huge. There was a lot of things that were 50% off. So red tags on sale. I got a lot of good things with fall in mind and I hope you guys are gonna like this if you're wanting to see it give me a like so that I know you like these videos and let's get on with it so I'll tell you how much I spent at the end but I did get 19 items and I only bought a few it was mostly clothing so um that's pretty much <laughs> I was just about to tell you the price, and I was like, wait, I wanted to say the price at the end. Okay. I was going to say one thing was taxable, so. The location, it's in, it's in Boston. They had a lot of beautiful clothing, um, a lot of, like, good condition. Even if it was, like, a lower-end brand, it was, everything was still really nice. And what I liked about this location was they do everything by, well, it was a good and a bad about this location. They do everything a standard price. So, t-shirts were $1.99, camisoles were $2.99, which was weird, like that, they would be more than t-shirts, and they had a price for, like, long sleeves, and they had a price for, um, sweaters, blazers, and there was a price, the blazers I was especially confused because it said $7.99 and up, and so I asked someone, I said, well, how do I know how much it is, and she was like, well, if it has pants, then it's a it's considered a suit, so it's fourteen ninety nine. And that ended up not really answering my question because I had a few coats that I had to put back because when I went to go check them out, they were like all different prices. I actually got a coach coat that I thought was gonna be eight dollars because it was in with the blazers, which were eight dollars, like in that section, like there was a bunch of there was a whole section of coats there. There was no price for coats, so I was just figured they were kinda counting it as a coat <laughs> I mean as a blazer and then when I got to the register she was like oh I have to find out how much this is I'm like what do you mean <laughs> what do you mean so that was a little frustrating but um otherwise I really like that they had a good selection of items that were 50% off um I've said before in another video when I've gone to savers whatever the color of the day or the week is there's nothing <laughs> I can never find anything or I can find like one thing. There was plenty of items that were 50% off. So I had a really good selection. But also another um, negative of when they do the solid prices is you're going to get some things that are, you know, normal. Like a lot of Forever 21, for instance, if it's a sweater, it's probably going to be like $5.99. And it was probably that much to begin with. <laughs> So that's a little frustrating there, but I mean, overall, I think it's a little bit more fair considering a lot of these items are are donated. So it's a little bit easier than putting like random or high, really high prices on it because the savers near me has been putting ten and fifteen dollar prices on Forever Twenty One, and it's just silly. <laughs> so I'm just trying to branch out to other locations. But this is one thing I picked up. It's an airy, um, I think you call these teddy, teddy sweaters. And it's just a pullover. It has the half button up here. 
And yeah, it's, like I said, great condition. It doesn't look like it's ever been in the dryer. Like it's not matted at all. It's a very pretty blue color. And I believe this was considered a sweater. And so it would have been $4.99 or $5.99 with 50% off. That's number one. The dresses were $7.99. So this I actually think is like a tunic top, but it was with the dresses. Again, since they don't have like actual tags, they just have little color thingies. I don't really know how they actually know. Because <laughs> um, for instance, it's kind of like a toss up with some things. If it's, you know, if it's a sweater material, but it's long sleeve, is it a sweater or is it a long sleeve shirt? Um, there's just a lot of things I feel like could be mixed up. like. The activewear section, you know, are those activewear tops considered activewear tops or are they considered sweaters? I, I don't know. The pricing scheme is a little weird. And also when I went to check out the, um, like the screen where normally the prices would come up, nothing comes up. So I couldn't even like see what, what was being, um, added as the price as she was scanning them. <laughs> so that was a little frustrating, but it's going to happen. Um, so this is a dress or like tunic type top by Hatch. Hatch is a really good brand to look out for. It is a high end, if you can see that, there we go. It's a high end maternity brand. And so I'm not a hundred percent sure if this would be worn as a dress or with leggings, depending on, I guess, how big your belly is, but it's a good brand to look out for. It's made in New York. I do like to look out for pieces that are made in the USA. It's a good keyword. I bought this a little pouch, fanny pack thing, or you could wear it, a lot of people wear it like this now. Um, I did realize it does not fit my phone. <laughs> so I was thinking about keeping this, but uh, I'll probably end up selling it. And this was, okay, another pricing, another weird pricing thing. I believe this was $4.99, oh no. Or one ninety nine. I'm not sure, but I'm not. I'm not sure. I gotta look at the receipt, but I don't really wanna go like item by item. But so for like the handbags, it said small, medium, large with a price. But how are you supposed to know what they consider small, medium, or large? <laughs> I don't know. I but I I'm I'm pretty sure this is probably charged as small. I mean, it is a little teeny guy, but it's just kind of like subjective. But. I just thought this was really cute. It's not leather, but it is, um, the lining is recycled material. So that is a good thing to be able to add as a keyword. The next item is this J Jill dress. This is a wool blend. It's a really, really pretty blue. I think it might be coming up a little bit different on camera. But it's this very pretty subdued, muted teal color. So it doesn't really have a lot of those bright tones, but it is like a nice deep jewel tone. And this, I believe, is also, I mean, I guess like a tunic dress as well, because it does have a slit here. So I guess depending on how tall you are and where that hits would make a difference. But J. Jill, so this is a dress. So, and red, so it was $4. This next item is very nice. It is a plus size denim jumper dress. This was also $4 and it's by Wild Fable. Not an amazing brand, I think that's Target, but I really liked it and I thought that it would be a good piece for fall. This is a Pink Floyd tie-dye tee. This was $1.99. And just one of those cool tees that I have been seeing a lot. So I grabbed that. This is by the brand, not 100% sure if you say it like Salam, Salam or Salam, but it is a very artsy top and it's it's open here it just has one button 
It's kind of like you could wear it over like a long sleeve top or a t-shirt or whatever. And this was 50% off. So I think this would be considered like a camisole because it's sleeveless. So it would have been um, like 150 maybe. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but I'll tell you the average cost of goods for or like the cost of goods um, if you know if you divide it by the total at the end. So I just really like this. There was a lot of very artsy pieces, but some of them, when I looked them up, they weren't like the best selling price. So I just thought this one would be a safe bet. I do have one other item in my closet by this brand, which hasn't sold yet, but this is like a completely different piece. The other piece that I have is a dress, so um, I saw I'd take a chance on this one because it's just, I don't know, it's fun. It's bright and colorful. And this is also made in the USA. I think it's, um, it's either out of like New Hampshire or Vermont. So that one. This next item is a leather planner by Pat Pat oh, Patricia Nash. That was very hard to say. It looks basically brand new. It doesn't have any scratches or creases. It's black and it's just really nicely carved leather on both sides. And it has a suede on the inside. It's just really gorgeous. It doesn't look like it's been used at all. And this does have a lot of, or not this particular one, but the planners, they look like they're selling for a good price online. So, um, I did, I did check what they charge on this one. It was $2.99 and I just figured with going back to school at some point soon, people are going to be looking for planners. This is a Nike dry fit men's jacket. So this is one of the items when I got to the register, she basically told me it was going to be $10, but it's red, so it's 50% off, so I paid $5 for it, um, which was fine. I wanted to get it. I tried to stay away from more basic pieces. This is just basic black and gray, but it's in amazing condition. I actually left behind a, um, like a navy, just collarless polo jacket. It's like a very popular style. It's just like a plain solid navy and just has a little polo logo. But they wanted $10 for it and I don't know. I just didn't want to pay that. Like I had a few jackets that were like that. So I didn't want to pay like a random price. Like, I just don't understand where they're getting these prices from because <laughs> she literally told me like I have to ask how much this one is going to be. I don't know, it just doesn't fly well with me, it's just too subjective, I just don't want to deal with that. So, I just ended up getting this one, and it, it looks very fresh, <laughs> and it even has uh, nice zippered pockets, so I thought this was a good pickup. This is another awesome plus size piece, Ooh, it's Cynthia Rowley Active. And let me see. It is a cotton blend. And I'm thinking that this might be like active as in also lounge. <laughs> Cause it's just like a really nice sweater dress. It's, it's very heavy. It has good weight to it. It has this nice contrast collar. Hoping that's showing up. It's nice maroon with the um, contrast cuffs. And this was 50% off, so $4. And that is a 2X. This is another kind of basic Nike piece. This is Nike Golf. Um, again, just beautiful, beautiful condition, 50% off. And I just thought this would be a good add to my closet. Oh, this one I purchased for myself, actually. This is uh, kind of like a oatmeal gray kind of color. And it has kind of like the, I think you could, like marble, I don't know, do you call it marbling on it? It's by the brand Sundays One. And I didn't look up this brand at all. I just thought this was a nice little top to wear when I go back to the office 
So I just need to do a whole closet overhaul. I'm not sure what fits. <laughs> I'm not sure what I want to wear. It's just a mess. So this is a good start. Nice and classic, or not classic, but nice and comfy, but, um, you know, work appropriate, office appropriate. I picked up these swim trunks. These are Polo Ralph Lauren. Uh, this print is really cool. It kind of is like almost like a Lily Pulitzer type style. Has elephants on it and giraffes. And it looked like, oh wow, this actually has the, the little size tag on it. I didn't notice that. This is an actual large. So these are probably actually new without tags. Um, that's cool. That's sweet because these retail, not, I couldn't find this, well, I just did a super quick search, but I couldn't find these exact ones online, but um, this kind of print retails for $80 new. So that is cool. Yeah, I mean, these, the little stringies look good. So next up, I got this mini mouse hat. This is a Disney Parks hat. I like to pick up the official ones. Disney Parks. And this is infant, right? Well, child. Um, no, so this is really cool. So if you notice, this has a little tab right here. And if you see Minnie Mouse is wearing her sunglasses. So I believe that if your kid takes off their sunglasses, you can just clip them right there so they don't lose them. So this was really cool. This was $1.99. Let's get the little ears. So next top is an L.L. Bean top. Also 50%. And this is just gorgeous, gorgeous condition. Very nice, classic, light blue color. It has vented holes right here. I feel like I'm very shadowy right now. Uh, vented holes there. It has the L.L. Bean logo on the front right here and the collars actually snap down. So for $1.99 I thought this would be a really good buy. And I am, um, you know, I was in Boston so L.L. Bean is based in Maine and then there was also a lot of Life is Good which I think is either Maine or Vermont. I'm not 100% sure but um, there was just, there was a lot of L.L. Bean and a lot of life is good. This next one is also J. Jill. It is linen. This is a beautiful, beautiful blue color. It's probably a little bit brighter. Well, no, it actually looks kind of true on the screen, but it's just beautiful linen cardigan. Has little pockets on the side here. And this is one of those things that I feel like is kind of a toss-up as to what I was being charged. Um, I'm really not going to go through everything. I think what I paid was more than fair for what I got, but it was just... I'm a little unsure. <laughs> so this next item was actually given to me by another reseller that was in the store. She came up to me and just was like, would you like this? For whatever reason, she didn't. It's a Parker blazer. It's really nice. I wasn't going to keep it at first, but um, it's actually 100% 100% silk. It didn't feel like silk to me, but that is what the tag says. So for $4, um, yeah, I'll take this. It's pretty. It's got like the blue. I don't know what you call this pattern. Is this like... It's not tie-dye. I don't know what it is. It's like graffiti almost, but it's size small. And it's just an open blazer. Yeah, it's really stylish. And she actually had given me another item too that I didn't keep because it, it had too many flaws, but it was really nice. I think I was being very obvious. I was taking a lot of pictures. So what I did was I took a bunch of pictures of different brands that I didn't know. And what I want to do is do a video on just researching those brands, just kind of like a brand recognition video. Um, what I really like to do when I'm either working or, you know, when I'm watching YouTube videos, it's just really helpful to 
hear those names and kind of like, you know, hear what people say about comps and how much they paid and how many are li like, sometimes, you know, people are like, there's not a lot listed. There's a lot listed. It's a hot brand, whatever. So, um, that is what I'm going to do. And I took tons of photos. I actually had another person come up to me and said they sell on Poshmark and she was asking me if I was using something to like find the brands faster. And, um, I just kind of told her no, but I'm just, I'm doing it for research. So if you're watching this, I did give her my YouTube channel. If you're watching this, hi, <laughs> um, leave a comment so we can connect. Um, cause I totally love to help other people. That's why I'm doing this. So that was it. All right. I have two more items. First one is the camper heels or sandal heels. These were $10. Um, I've heard of the brand. I've never found it. I did really well with a pair of Piccolinos that I picked up recently, and this is a similar vibe to that. Um, they say on them, a little weird, but recycled components, chrome-free leather. I've never heard that before, chrome-free leather, <laughs> but apparently it's a concern, so there are some shoes without chrome in them, and I'm going to sell them. And the last item, I kind of found this by chance. So I was getting, like I said, I had been there right, pretty much right at 9 o'clock in the morning. I was getting a little overwhelmed with how big the store was. I don't think I realized it when I first walked in. And I was, like, literally going item by item. And then at one point I looked up and I, real, and I was like, oh, I'm, like, not even... I haven't made a dent, but I had a carriage that was like this big. So, um, I said, all right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to like kind of try and scan a little bit more based on like the red tags that were sticking out just to kind of make better use of my time. I mean, not necessarily, right? Because if I, if, if there's something that sells for 50 that has a red tag, but right next to it, there's something that sells for a hundred and has a green tag. Obviously, I'd want the green one more, right? Just because I don't, I pay more for it doesn't mean that, or just because paying less for it doesn't mean I'm going to make more money on it, right? But I was just trying to figure out a way to um, speed up my process. <laughs> and this one actually doesn't have a red tag, but what I, what I ended up doing was I probably wouldn't have gotten to this section if I had kept going item by item. So that was just what I kind of did. And I saw this. I was very intrigued. I took a second look at it. And, um, don't know what it is. I kind of thought it was one of those, like, just random, I don't know, random brands. It's the brand Revenge. And I looked it up just because, I don't know, there was just something, something about this. It says Revenge is for two. There was just something weird about this and I was like, I should just look this up. I don't know. I think maybe um, the way the label was stitched in, you can really tell on um, a lot of the Amazon brands or things that sell on Amazon, they have, sometimes they don't even have a name brand tag, but they'll have this little white tag that says the size. And that's almost always how, I almost always skip over those because I just, I know they're cheap. But this, it's like the tag is stitched in. It's clearly like a stylized brand name. So I looked it up, and these sweatshirts are apparently by XXX Tension. And they are selling for over $100 on Grilled. So I scooped this up. I haven't found this exact one online yet. But I'm hoping that this pays for my entire trip. So if you follow me on Instagram, you might have already heard the details, but the hoodie did sell. It was a wild ride. So I got tons of messages on it, like a few on Depop and a bunch on Mercari, lots of likes. And what happened was I had someone ask me a few questions. Um, I worked with them on the price, sold to him for $190, and then he came back and he said, I think it's fake because it doesn't have metal um, rings where the hoodie string would go and I looked at the items that they had on the revenge website 
they didn't have those hoodie strings. I compared it to a bunch of listings online and it just seemed like the correct way was that it wouldn't have these metal rings. So I canceled the sale and then he came back and and I actually took the listings down because I just wanted to really do more research before I put it back up. Um, but then he came back and he said, no, I did my own research and I want to buy it. Please relist it and I will pay you $200 for it. So this ended up selling for $200 on Mercari and yeah, it did pay for my whole trip. So I am pretty excited about that. So uh, let's hope, but where did my receipt go? Oh my God, it's gone. Oh, I put it over here. <laughs> so... The grand total for my 19 items was $75.65, which comes out to an uh, average cost of goods, like if you average it all, $75.65 divided by 19, it's uh, $3.98, so about $4 per piece. I'm really happy with that. I think it worked out well. I think it was worth the trip up there, and I think I'm going to plan on going there every few months. And what I basically wanted to do was to get a bunch of stuff, which I think I got an, a good amount right now. I do have a few more items I haven't listed yet, so I'm just going to kind of work on spacing things out, getting my drafts listed on Vendu so I can put them live, and just keep building up my inventory piece by piece. But this is a really, really good start. I'm really happy with these items. I know 100% I'm going to make my money back. I don't know how fast I'm going to make my money back because I did get a lot of fall pieces, but I know I'm going to make my money back and hopefully with just this one sweatshirt. So I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I really want to connect with other resellers and I want to know what you think about this haul. What pieces, would you pick up these pieces? What would you have left behind? Ooh, my voice is like, slow down. <laughs> So I want to know what you would have left behind, what your favorite piece was I picked up, and what you think about my cost of goods. I'm very interested in knowing all your thoughts. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you next time. I put out videos every Friday. Bye!